Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are all doing well. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So Pisces, before we get into the reading, as usual, I will be putting down the good old fashioned holy water. Yeah, yeah. So good in the neighborhood, Pisces. So, do you know what time it is? I do. Tarot's now in session. Most honorable judge, T. T. Young, presiding. You can all do whatever you want. So, we're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with. Or whatever energy could be potentially approaching you. Like I always tell you, it could very well be your own energy. Whatever the case is, we will get it. We will hit it. And we will put that shit together like we always do, baby. Yeah, yeah. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Okay. That looks like what's-his-face off the plebs. <laughs> Anybody watch the plebs? You guys should watch plebs. It's funny. Looks like the water boy. Off plebs. Almost has his hair cut, too. Queen of Cups. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Oh my goodness. This deck's acting weird. Weird. Oh lord. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is. Okay, I got that. What is going on here? going on here what is going on here there is a uh, uh wow this is nothing but court cards my goodness your energy showing up here for sure mm -mm -mm. We've got, I feel like we just really need to get into this reading and clarify the shit out of this. Yep, what's going on? Why is the Queen of Cups here in this person's energy? We're just gonna, we're gonna go. What's going on here with this energy? I don't know if it's a, I feel like it's multiple people here. What's going on with the Queen of Cups? What's going on with the Queen of Cups? Okay, has something ended here for you, Pisces? Or did you end something? What's going on with the Queen of Cups and the Ten of Swords? Yep. Yeah. I'm getting something strongly has ended for you. And it looks like you have been... Taking some time for yourself because there's something else that you're doing and you're waiting to reap basically the benefits of the seeds you've sown here. So what is Pisces getting ready to reap, especially after this ending? It looks like it was not good, but now it's like, what are you getting ready to... Okay. It looks like the benefits of whatever you're getting ready to reap is going to get you to a sense of stability. Yeah, you're going to finally find some kind of financial stability here towards whatever you have been putting effort in to after this painful ending that has happened for you. A very painful ending, but... It looks like, you know, with all things that end, new and better things begin. And what I see here 
if something definitely, definitely better is coming along for you here, Pisces. And it's going to get you on that platform to where you want to be. Security. So you've got security that's coming towards you here. Nice. Okay. So we're going to talk to... I feel like we're going to talk to the Empress and we're going to see why the Empress... Uh, you could be getting an inheritance too, okay? Maybe a mother passed away. I'm sorry if that has happened. It's in the energy, so I got to read it that way also. So what's going on with the Empress here on the table? Why is she here? Why is this Empress here in, on the table? Why is the Empress on the table? Why is the Empress here on the table? Why is the Empress here? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm still kind of picking up mm, that this is you. I am. So you've had some kind of challenging period here of financial loss, okay, hardships. So this is like a reminder to just, you know, remain positive here and, you know, get the support of people who love you. And, you know, this will be a part of like helping you overcome these challenges here. So there is like during this dark time that you're going through, like I said, there's potential here for the growth and for abundance for you, Pisces. This is kind of turned into a Pisces reading here. Let's get a little bit deeper on that. I'm talking a lot about you. I never know what I'm going to get on my table. I just don't. Let's get a little bit deeper here. Yeah, and don't avoid the fact that things are going to get better. So you have a tendency to really not believe that things are going to get better. When in fact... They are going to get better. So this is about you uh, remaining positive. All right. And quit deceiving yourself and quit lying to yourself. Okay. Wow. Very interesting. This is good reading though. Okay. So why is the Queen of Swords here on the table? Why is the Queen of Swords down here on the table? Why is the Queen of Swords down here on the table? I feel like this is you still. Man or woman, it does not matter. This is about taking the high road here. So, be clear with your words. Okay? <clears throat> your words are a powerful weapon to wield here. And so this is kind of basically like a reminder for you to take the high ground here. And always be the bigger person. Be morally correct. And do it with grace. And it looks like your grace is your words. That is your words. So this is about you being the bigger person here. And when somebody meets you with resistance, this is about you being the bigger person, using your words, using your words correctly so that they don't necessarily hurt other people. So this is about wisdom, being wise with what you say. When people challenge you, this is about you taking the moral high ground. Wow, this reading is like all about you. <clears throat> okay, so why is the King of Pentacles in this uh, energy on the table? Why is this King of Pentacles here? Why is the King of Pentacles here on the table? Why is the King of Pentacles down here on the table? Sure. Hmm. <clears throat> 
somebody here, uh, this has got to be somebody else. This is definitely another energy. I'm picking up that somebody here is not showing you their true colors. They're acting kind of flaky here. What's going on here with this energy? What's going on here with this energy? Top to bottom, what's going on here with this energy of the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands? And there's this person around you. That has overcome some kind of significant change in their life. So I feel like whoever this is is going through some kind of midlife crisis. So you've got another energy that's around you that's been working through a midlife crisis. So what does this energy want from Pisces? This energy that's working through a midlife crisis. What does this energy want from Pisces that's working through a midlife crisis? What does this energy want from Pisces? What do they want? They want to be with you. So the, you got somebody around you that's going through a midlife crisis that wants to be with you. Huh. This is very interesting. You know what? I think I'm going to take this over into the extended because I'm very curious. You're going through a lot here, but this person showed up for a very particular reason. So I don't normally get too nosy, but I am going to take this over to the extended. I want to see what this person who's going through midlife crisis, so I want to see what their own desires are. I wanted to take a look at their dark side. I want to take a look at the reality around the both of you. And I want to take a look at their convictions in continuing along the path with you with the lovers. I want to see how others are reacting in this person's energy. And then I'm going to pull the final message. <clears throat> so if you want to join me over there on the extended, you can do that. Uh, there will be a link below down in the description box just click more and it'll be the first link there it'll take you to patreon <clears throat> so if this is where we part that's cool and uh i hope you'll join me on the extended tarot's adjourned <laughs>